Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. 
This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Clive. What do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon! She's ours! Look alive, boys! Full ahead! 
And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Fascinating. But then... There is naught my blade cannot sever. later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here I can. Stand still! dominant of fire. I see naught before me but a guttering flame.
punish them. I think so. <sighs> but to, to where? to Joshua. The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill.
If our fates were so easily written, we would all be gods. Dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. 
manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone. 
everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. We might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become.
What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait.